Yeah, they, they outplayed us in essentially every phase of the game. Uh, I thought Horton was, was outstanding when you have mid-90s, you have a good slider, you have a curveball, and he flashed his change periodically. I mean, that was, that was a lot. Clearly, we didn't recognize it. Um, I thought he did a, just a phenomenal job. I thought he mixed very well. And when you have that assortment of pitches to deal with, um, it's difficult, and it, clearly it was. Um, Godman, they had the matchup they wanted to, to allow him to throw that inning. He did a nice job. And Michael is, is similar to Horton, I think. Um, maybe not quite the fastball, but really the good, the good little breaking ball and, then a, and a slider and a change that he uses and uses well. And we threaten a little bit, but ultimately um, – their ability to punch us out, our inability, and their ability to manage their two-strike hitting, to me, was the difference. So it, it seemed like it was constant pressure. And the reason was is they commanded the strike zone a little bit better from the mound and, uh, and at the plate. Their hitters did a nice job. Um, they used all phases of their game. They, they ran bases. We, we knew this was something that was in play for them. They're good at it, you know, the, the bunt. Uh, again, we had planned for it a little bit. They they executed it, and clearly um, played a really they played a really complete game. Um, our relievers, you know, you, you get in that spot where Temple clearly didn't appear to have it. Could he have found it? I, it just seemed like that was a time not to try to figure that out. Um, we need to have Tyrell involved in this thing, and he got out of it. And our relievers, if I'm not mistaken, all got the guy they came in to face, um, and nobody could really settle and consistently string sequences together to limit them. We didn't finish them off. And again, to their credit, they really fought through some at-bats and had some big two-strike at-bats up and down the lineup. They, they played a really, really nice game. That, you know, Dave's home run was a big boost for us. We needed it, and Carter had competitive at-bats all day. It just wasn't consistent enough. But at the end of the day, when you strike out 14 times, um, you're not forcing them into enough, and they beat us. OK, we're going to have questions for the student athletes now. So raise your hand, and we'll get to you real quick. Mark? Mark Garland, CWS 247. Carter and David, it's been almost two months since you guys have lost back-to-back -back games. How, as players, do you guys flush it and get ready for that next one? Carter, you start, please. I think you just have to take it one game at a time. I think that group or this group is really good at that, realizing you know the importance of all these games late in, late in the year. And so, um, you know, we're, we're a pretty mature group, and I know that you know the, the off day tomorrow will give us time to, you know, you know, get rid of or get over it, and then focus on the next ta task at hand, which is Texas A&M. David, uh, I mean, we preach going one to zero every single day. Um, so you kind of sit on this one, and um, when we come out on Tuesday, try to go one and another there. Okay, next question. Okay, can't see. Jordan McAlpin with the Omaha World Herald. For either one of you guys, what was difficult about going up against Horton? Um, for me, I mean, he had a good fastball, um, and he didn't seem to be throwing it a lot. He was, he was living with his off-speed stuff. Um, his slider was tough to pick up. And, um, I mean, he did a good job. Uh, he had a good fastball and, and good secondary stuff, and he was in the zone the whole day. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. He kept all of us kind of off balance with the, the curve on the slider. And so, um, you know, trying to pick up the different pitches um, was a little challenging for us today. And um, so, tip the cap to him. Okay, next question. All right here. Tyler. Tyler Horka, Blue and Gold Illustrated, for, for either of you guys, just based on everything that you've been through the last couple of years, and especially the Super Regional at, at Tennessee, do you feel like this group of guys is equipped to take a, a punch like that and punch back in an elimination game against another really good team on Tuesday? David Stark. Uh, yeah, I think we're equipped to do it. Um, we just have to go out there and we have to play our game on, and uh, execute all three phases of the game and, and better than we did today. Carter? Yeah, like Dave said earlier, we just try and go one and zero each and every day, and I think this, you know, this team is capable of, you know, if, as long as we play our our game, we can go out and compete with anyone. So just try and go one and zero and and play our baseball. Okay. Any more questions for the student athletes? 
Okay, guys, uh, that'll do it. As a reminder, the locker rooms are closed to all media at all times, but you can work with their team SID. Matt will handle any other questions you might need, so y'all can go. Thank you. As an aside, you will be the home team Tuesday. You will be the home team Tuesday. Okay. So, okay, questions for Link. Starting right over here. Tim Priester from Irish Illustrated Link. You had Finley warming up early. Just what were, were you thinking that, you know, maybe you turned this into like a starting assignment for him at that stage? You know, Tim, that that was interesting. You, you're managing the game and you're you're wanting to to keep it in striking distance. And it didn't feel, it just didn't feel good. Like Temple didn't have it. And as we got a little deeper in the lineup, um, the thought was maybe Terrell can go in there against the guys that looked like he was going to see versus in the, in the first inning, if it had gotten really messy, maybe in the, in the middle more, we might have felt like let's just use Finley and try to get out of this and let him extend. That was our thinking. But once we felt like it, was good for Terrell to face the guys and get out of that and then extend. That's why they were both going early. And <laughs> that's not what you're hoping you're thinking in the first inning, but um, we were. And, and Finley has been good coming in and handling some traffic lately like he did in, in the regional. And um, that hadn't been Aiden's forte lately. So we were trying to get one in a position maybe to, to navigate not as much of a stressful situation to then flip it and come out clean and really essentially turn it into a start. And he just wasn't, Aiden just wasn't quite sharp. He got, to, he got the pop up and the comebacker and you're like, all right, here we go. Now he can settle in and this should uh, settle the game for us. And it just, it wasn't. And they battled, they had some tough two strike hits and they weren't damaging us a lot, but the damage was putting it in play and repetitive quality at bats, and we just couldn't finish them off. They, they did a great job with it. Okay, next question. Okay, here. Sean Steyer's Irish Breakdown. Just what you kind of finished with right there, did it sort of feel like you were watching a, a mirror image of what you typically see from your guys? Yes. They're, yes. Yes, it is. That's, <laughs> you know, you saw a little bit of it um, Friday. That, that, that ability they had to finish us didn't give us enough opportunities to truly threaten them. You know, we, when you punch out 14 times, you're, you're forcing them to record 13 outs in the field. And if it's not in play, there's no chance that that little thing falls in or that ground ball works through there. And that's clearly what they did, and that pendulum swung in their favor, in, in essence, to me, because of that. Um, and they got the bunt down, and you just have to record an out on that. Like, it was set up almost to have a chance at the plate, and he didn't think he did. And that's you know, poor execution that led to more um, when you hope you, you're you really expecting that play. Um, so they did a very good job of doing some of the things that you, you have obviously seen us do. But, you know, the punch outs, if I say it again, I, I would have probably said it 100 times. But to me, that was the difference in just their management of finishing our hitters was better than ours to them. John? John Bryce, Irish Sports Daily Link. Um, you got Finley up early, but you ended up not going to him. Yeah. So so Tuesday, is it, is it Liam with Alex and, and Finley also available? That, oh, yeah, they're all available. Now, who, who makes the most sense to start? I, I don't know that just yet. Um, I mean, Finley has clearly started games. Uh, he's been so good out of the pen. I, we definitely have options. And the, the way this is formatted, it gives guys really a chance to freshen up out of the pen. So um, I think we're, we're OK down there. And some of the guys that threw today would probably be able to help us, um, including Temple. So I, Chuck and I will we'll get back and think this through. And we've started a little bit on, on Texas A&M. But if, your full focus is really trying to handle the game in front of you and then deal with the next one. So we'll, we'll dive into that. Um, we have options. The execution has to be better than it was today, regardless of, of who we decide to run out there. 
Okay, this will be our last question for Travis. Uh, Travis Brown, Brian called Station Eagle. Coach, what, what do you know of A&M, and how do you uh, feel like the two teams match up? I don't know a whole lot about them just yet. Um, I, this, this is a lot when you're getting ready for the one game. Um, again, we put our focus more on, on that. Um, so we haven't studied a ton. Now, we have, we have what we need. Now it's just a matter of constructing it and, and diving in. So I haven't gotten that deep on them. That'll be obviously tonight and like all day tomorrow to try to figure out how to manage them. Uh, clearly, they wouldn't be here if they weren't <laughs> more than capable of, of playing well. So it, it'll be a big college World Series game. Yep. Thank, thank you. Thank you guys. We'll see you Tuesday.